Okay, so let's start a new file this week so I can show you how to add images. So I'm creating a new file in Axia RP. Um, as per usual, I'm going to change my home page to index um, radio. So we go down to the libraries and you will see that there are a couple of different widgets we can choose from. We're going to look at the image widget first. There are three Im uh, widgets we're going to cover this week. The image widget, the placeholder widget, and the magic special dynamic panel. So let's use an image first. So I'll just drag that across onto my page. I can resize that as necessary here, as you can see. And to add an image to it, we just double click and then we go searching for our images. So if I go to my documents, I have my original images, but what I want to do is use my optimized images. If you use a very big image in Axia, it does say, do you want to optimize it? But I find that you have better control over it if you optimize it yourself first, because then you can decide exactly how big you want that image to be. So please follow the other videos that show you how to optimize images first. So let's choose an image. I'm going to choose Cannonook Creek because my theme is Seaford, of course. So here we go. We've got our image here. And that looks all nice and everything. Um, now, one thing you will note that in Axia, you don't have an option of putting an alt attribute on there. Um, so what you can do if you're sending this to a developer is in the notes, you can say, hey, my alt attribute is going to be such and such. So I might say alt equals photograph of Cannonook. Oops, Cannonook. So there's my first note. Now the problem is if I go to preview, you see how it comes up with that yellow one there? So if I zoom in here and click on that, it tells me what it is. And that's fantastic in the development process, but it might not be what you want on your final website for your folio. So um, consider whether you want to use that or not. In this project, you don't have to do it but it's good for you to know that that is an option there. So let's see if I can delete this, right, whoopsie, right click, delete, and we've got rid of that. So now if we preview it, it's all fine. Now, one thing to note with the image widget, if I shrink this, have a look what happens if I change my aspect ratio. That is a bad, 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 bad thing to do as a designer because your photo was taken with the actual aspect ratio that you would be viewing. Um, so if you strength, stretch or shrink that, it's going to end up looking a bit rubbish. So you are stuck with your original aspect ratio. It doesn't crop it or anything like that. You can just increase and decrease it. Um, so that is your image widget. The next video I show you will be the placeholder widget, which does it in a different way. Thank you.